Hey everybody, welcome to Improv FAQ. I'm James Quesada and in this episode, we're gonna answer some questions about being funny in improv. So the root of the question here comes from a lot of students experiencing in an improv class, the uh, teacher giving the instruction to not go for laughs, don't go for jokes, don't sell out your scene partner for a cheap laugh, and so on and so forth. The reason that that can be confusing or frustrating for students to, to hear that note or that instruction is because generally when we think of improv, we think about it being paired with comedy and most improv theaters are going to place their shows under the umbrella of comedy. That's how they're going to label it uh, on their website. It might even be the, in the title of the uh, theater's name and more than likely they're, they're going to be promising uh, the experience of a comedy show in their advertisements and, and whatnot. So for a student to hear, don't go for laughs while they're learning improv comedy, understandably raises some questions and uh, confusion. So hopefully I can offer some answers that clear up those questions when it comes to how exactly and why improv tends to fall under the umbrella of comedy on its own without really having to force it that way. And also the difference between trying to be funny and wanting to be funny and, and especially worrying about being funny. So we'll talk about all those things in this video. So first of all, when it comes to learning to do improv well, there are a couple things that are much more important than just being funny. And those things are learning to act and learning to play, to develop your sense of play. When you learn to act, you learn to create believable characters and relationships and uh, commit to the scene and have engaging um, moments on stage. That, that's really the, the theater experience um, at, its, at its foundation. The flip side of that is uh, learning to play. Everything that you're creating as you act is made up on the spot. So developing a sense of play is going to uh, hone in your sensibilities for, for what's fun and um, how to use what you're giving yourself, what you're creating on stage. Um, and while it's fun, it's still different than being funny. Uh, having fun is not about uh, jokes or even getting laughs. It's really just about enjoying the exploration of uh, what you have at your disposal. Um, and I would also say that, that part of play and really part of acting too is connecting to the other people on stage. Acting is reacting playing off of your scene partners. Play is with people. You learn to play, you learn to play with others. Um, so those two things are gonna be the best foundation for learning how to, how to do good improv. And that brings me to my second point. That foundation is about um, improv being a, a process of uh, discovering what's going on on stage. And you have to trust that process as you improvise and trust that it's gonna lead to comedy. Really what I'm pointing to is the idea that the act of improvising tends to be a funny process uh, all by itself. When an audience knows that uh, you have decided to create a show <laughs> with no script and no rehearsal, no preparation, no plan for what's gonna happen, they're sitting there watching uh, in amazement that you're able to pull it off. And if you, um, are doing a good job of acting and playing with each other uh, and, and being connected in those two ways, then uh, it's gonna be a joy to watch and it's gonna surprise the audience in a way that is more than likely gonna uh, elicit laughs. Like you're gonna get those laughs just from the audience being uh, shocked and, and um, impressed that you're able to pull it off. Even when it's flawed, even when there's contradictions or um, you know errors, <laughs> in the uh, logic of the way that we play, that too is an enjoyable, funny experience for the audience. Again, because they are in on the fact that you are, tr are making it up as you go. You, you started from a place of complete uncertainty, complete unknown, and you're trying to figure out what's going on on stage. Witnessing that is funny. I don't know what else to tell you. So trust the process. On the other hand, we should talk about the fact that it is entirely possible to create an improvised scene that doesn't end up being funny, even though it has good acting in it, and maybe even a sense of play in it, um, and instead it ends up being sad or uh, uncomfortable or dark uh, or whatever it is that, that just isn't your intention uh, going into improv comedy. Um, and so you might be asking, 
Well, I've been working on this acting stuff and trust the process and lately everything I do is just a bummer and people are just tense and crying at my shows. The answer or the solution to that situation is uh, to start bringing in some principles of comedy. Once you're, once you're comfortable with the acting and the sense of play um, as a foundation, then you can use tools like rule of three and heightening, um, scene mapping and juxtaposition. Um, there's all sorts of uh, comedy tools that you can implement into a show to make sure that it stays under the umbrella of comedy. It's gonna be much more effective if you can do those, can, can start implementing those principles of comedy um, on top of that, that nice foundation of acting and um, being in a state of play. Um, you can also start to get away with making quips and uh, witty commentary um, throughout a scene or, or a show uh, without running as much of a risk that it's gonna derail anything or compromise the integrity of um, the larger improvisation that's going on. However, still consider that um, if you think about a sitcom, and uh, let's take Friends for example, the one-liners and quips on a sitcom are not gonna be the biggest laughs. Chandler Bing is uh, the king of sarcasm and he has plenty of laugh lines sprinkled throughout any given episode. Um, but the biggest laughs on that show and any sitcom and really any comedy are gonna come from um, the what we learn about the characters and what we know about their relationships and the situations that they're in and that context uh, of the world that they live in. Um, one of the funniest moments of on Friends, uh, probably of the entire series, is when Monica puts a uh, Thanksgiving turkey, an uncooked, I think an uncooked Thanksgiving turkey on her head. Not that it would be better if it were cooked. Um, but uh, it's one of the most memorable scenes and it's, it's definitely one of the biggest uh, laughs uh, of, of the show and certainly of that episode. And it's so much funnier because we know that Monica is a germaphobe and Chandler hates Thanksgiving and that Monica is uh, pulling this stunt as a desperate attempt to um, make up with Chandler uh, because they've been fighting. It's also very funny because in that moment, uh, Chandler, Unconsciously, he says, I love you, and it's the first time that he tells Monica that, that uh, he loves her. Um, <laughs> and that's, it's not a joke, it's not a punchline. It's actually a very uh, sweet, sentimental thing to say on paper, but it's funnier because Monica currently has her head inside of a turkey, and they're supposed to have this big uh, relationship, um, uh, you know, moment uh, of saying I love you for the first time. So. If you follow the improvisation um, and you prioritize the acting and the play over those uh, little one-liners that, that may get laughs throughout the show, you're much more likely to arrive at these big explosive laughter moments um, that come from the characters you've created and uh, the backdrop of, of the world that you've built behind them. Um, and that's so much more satisfying um, than any, any one line of dialogue that gets a laugh. So the last point I'll make is that it's absolutely okay to want to be funny. Uh, in fact, it makes perfect sense. If you got into improv because you love making people laugh and you wanna learn improv comedy so that you can perform in shows uh, that are funny and make people laugh, great. Um, but there's a difference between wanting and hoping to be funny uh, versus worrying about being funny and trying to be funny. It's just like in social situations, um, we, all, we, we all wanna be liked and it's okay to want to be liked, but there's a difference between wanting to be liked and worrying about whether people like you. And you can tell um, when people are worried about being liked, they might come off as disingenuous um, or just over eager or, or insincere, wh whatever it may be. And the same thing goes for being on stage. In the audience, you can absolutely tell the difference between someone who knows what they're doing, has that strong foundation of acting and a sense of play, um, and is a comfortable performer uh, who is still very, very funny. In fact, uh, uh, being a comfortable performer is part of what enables um, an audience to laugh during a show. 
you can very easily tell when somebody is worried about being funny and is just up there sweating it um, and making, you know, flailing attempts to get uh, laugh lines out there or, or just get any kind of laugh from the audience. And you have to let go of that. The worry of whether this moment will be funny or this scene will be funny um, has to be something that, that you uh, let go of. Want to be funny? Uh, yes. But do that by having that strong foundation of acting and, and building a strong sense of play, trusting the process, and uh, knowing that once you have that, you can uh, learn to implement those principles of comedy to, to steer things um, under the umbrella of comedy and uh, not have to sweat it while you're doing that. So I hope that this video has helped uh, clear up some questions about being funny in improv and the seeming contradiction between the goal of improv comedy and the learning curve that it takes to get there uh, and that you can walk away staying focused on those fundamental acting and uh, sense of play skills uh, and hopefully let go of uh, some of that worry um, about whether or not you're going to be funny. Um, and uh, I will catch you next time on Improv FAQ. Thanks for watching.